As you all know, in the most recent update, there's been some changes to Dynamite. An overall phenomenal change, buff, whatever you want to call it, to his character. He is in a much better place as of right now. But in order to receive that buff to Dynamite, we needed to trade in something very valuable. A mechanic that some people have been working on for years trying to master. Now, 10 days ago, at the point that I'm recording this video, we went over viable methods for Dynamite in his current state, in which you can still double and triple jump in game. Though it is not as practical as it once was, you need things in order to pull off these mechanics, but it can still be a very useful mechanic in game, though it's a bit harder to pull off. I highly recommend you go check out that video if you want a more in depth look on how you can actually perform these mechanics now, double and triple jumps with Mike after the update, but you can do things such as this here, this here, and even things such as this. And I gotta say, even though jump mechanics are much more difficult to pull off now, once you're able to get them down in tandem with how good he is now with the recent buffs, Dynamite feels like an absolute beast in certain situations. Just to kind of put it in perspective, on a mini account here, I'm almost at 800 trophies with Mike just playing with randoms. On another mini account, once again with randoms, 758 trophies. Another mini account, 803 trophies with randoms. And on the main account, ironically enough, the lowest one, 700 trophies. Virtually any account that has Dyna Jump unlocked here in my possession, I've pushed Dynamite over 700 trophies with randoms, and it's been a very fun experience getting him down. So let's get into a few examples here of what he's capable of now. So by no means do I feel like I've completely flushed out this newer version of Dynamite and how to play him in a higher mechanical way, but I want to share with you guys some of the practice that is being paid off here and how it might translate to some beneficial stuff in game. Heading into the very first game where I feel like I was able to pull off a few interesting things with these brand new jumps here, and by no means is this optimal or anything like that. Here in these games, I was literally just trying to jump for jumping's sake, where the best way to play Dynamite is a healthy medium. You jump when it's needed and your accuracy is the most important thing you want to hammer down with him so you can get as much DPS out as possible. But here, dude, all I was doing was seeing if any of the practice was paying off, right? But let's get into it here. We're up against Double Thrower and a Surge. Not a difficult team comp to go up against. One thing that I've noticed when you're playing up against throwers, you utilize double and triple jumps in order to close the distance in between them. Most throwers just use their basic attacks to keep you out of an arm length where if you're playing an aggro dynamite it's important to use that to get in close and make them feel like a little bit uncomfortable but we pulled off our very first triple jump of the video here utilizing that wall on the left not really knowing that the Edgar was going to jump in and take our kill I wanted to be aggro against that barley freak him out jump in there and see if I could pick up the kill but we were jumping around like a madman utilizing the double jump mechanic with the walls and we're also utilizing the spin gadget I like being able to have a little bit of extra movement movement speed when I'm in like a desperate situation in order to dodge or just get away and apply some extra damage. Also during most matches here for some reason this map had some walls that I got used to with the jump mechanics and I just kept going in over and over trying to hammer them home but on most maps here if you're laning dynamite on the left or the right you're going to have an asset to you on the edge of the map in order to pull off these jumps very regularly. You don't need to utilize the some of the mechanics that we went over in that video video where you have to gap or distance yourself perfectly from a wall just present on the map. You can use that wall on the edge of the map every single time and it's actually pretty dang easy to get that immunity from the jumps with a triple or a double jump. But let's get back into it here. As you guys can see, I'm just playing aggro for aggro's sake. I'm being very unstrategic when it comes to the double and triple jumps, just trying to jump around and get these mechanics down here, not in a good way, but it's still fun as heck. Pulling them off feels really, really good. We're jumping around straight into a Surge's face. We end up going down because of it. But again, we are playing dumb for the sake of trying to get these mechanics down. We use a double jump to get up, a triple jump there on the wall, getting the perfect gap. And we're double jumping there using the edge of the map. And we end up dying. Oh, almost. Yep, we die. 
But as you guys can see, nothing really strategic there with the gameplay, but still showing off how you can double and triple jump, basically knowing that we have a good enough advantage in the game. I can mess around and have a good time. Unfortunately, that footage where I was going ham with dynamite mechanics was a few days ago, so I don't have any in-game footage to share with you all, seeing that after a while, replays are no longer available, unfortunately. So for the remainder of the video, I want to go into some actual real live gameplay to see if we can hammer down some of these mechanics for all of you guys in some matches, as well as just go over some of my thought process on Dynamite and how I feel about him nowadays. We're on a little bit of a lower trophy Dynamite, so we can mess around a little bit more. It's my best advice if you are trying to get some of these things down in actual live games. If you have a lower trophy mic, it's definitely much easier to get it down and then you can transfer that skill that you've acquired during those matches to a higher trophy level dynamite but first things first dude hey you know i've been a hater of these changes recently quite a bit with dynamite but honestly there's not that better of a feeling when it comes to landing some of these things when you know it's not that crazy regular with this guy it's actually quite enjoyable when you're able to pull something off fun with dynamite here oh Let's go. Thank you, Paul. Seeing that most people don't know that these things are viable with Dynamite at the minutes, when you pull them off, it can be really, really shocking for the enemy team to see that and try to get used to it. You know what I mean? So pulling it off is so much freaking fun, though. I'm still adamant on enjoying the old version of Dynamite a bit better. It's still a fun way to play Dynamite with some of these changes losing but hey don't matter man it's kind of this weird dilemma with any dyna jumper out there of course you're going to want to be able to do it much easier the way that dynamite was able to do it beforehand but there's this certain rewarding feeling that you get with him being able to pull it off when people don't think it's actually possible while on top of that seeing that dynamite is just in a better place overall now it feels so much better even if you can't double and triple jump that often with this guy and believe it or not seeing that his shot take less time to detonate you can actually jump quicker utilizing these methods so it's pretty dang fun we had to get past that bot battle there because we lost a match let's see if we can focus in here dial in and sweat our butts off utilizing some jump mechanics let's try to do a showdown i'm not promising anything good here but we're gonna focus up all right we found our match we're going aggro mike we do not have the stun gadget which is normally pretty dang good in this game mode but might as well get the rocking dude bam bam all right, we're hopping in, dude. Okay. Try to make it confusing for them. All right, we got two out of it. Good stuff. We're holding this thing down. This is my middle. Don't think you can get away with taking my middle. All right, taking down the Nita Bear. Betcha the bow's coming in here. Nice. All right, we got to get one jump mechanic in. Let's see if we can do it. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Okay. Oh, <laughs> dang it. If it wasn't Edgar, we got the Jesse there with some jumping fun, but the Edgar took us out. Definitely still work in progress, but I'm feeling a slight difference in what at least I'm capable to do with him here. Of course, these were just a few matches for fun, but there's something happening with the training that I've been doing in Training Cave, and it's been really, really fun to see. It's been like this new training arc for Dinah, trying to master newer mechanics and get them down. And of course, if you guys have been doing your own training with Dynamite and trying to get down these jumping mechanics with this newer version of him i would love to see some of your progress make sure to at me over on twitter so i can see some matches while we're waiting for dinah to hopefully get some changes to his air time and his jump mechanics we can practice these things and it will still even translate to if he does get a change to his mechanics because we can utilize these shortened hops with the wall manipulation any version of dynamite doing so but yeah everyone hope you all enjoyed this check-in i will not stop practicing dynamite i want to turn him into an absolute mad lad here in the games i want dynamite to be the best lobber in the game through any means possible but yeah everyone hope you all enjoyed this episode here today if you did make sure to slap a like on it i'd really appreciate that have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day keep having fun with brawl stars and we'll see you all in the next one adios and take care Whew.